Hey guys, it's Shaggy here, aka GUnit. Welcome to an M16 gameplay. Today, playing in Quarry with the red dot sight and the blue tiger camo. I'm not too sure why I said that, but yeah, camo doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Uh, I got a pretty good score in this gameplay, even though this gameplay is pretty damn long. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I hate getting gameplays of domination. The reason is because it's pretty long and it kind of wastes my time in real life. But, you know, I guess I just gotta do it. As a lot of people like watching M16, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Domination gameplays, I've noticed that from the past. You guys may know that, or well, some of you guys may know that I used to have a series called The 60 Plus Show, and the reason why I shut it down is because I wasn't really into playing Domination after I started the 40 Plus series, and I just thought I'd shut it down. But I might start it up again in uh, Black Ops, it would depend on uh, what kind of t uh, game mode that I prefer playing in. But these are the gameplays, like domination gameplays, that I have to show you guys if you guys haven't seen it or not. And all these gameplays that I got is uh, pretty good for me as I grew up in uh, YouTube, as I gained subscribers. And a lot of, not all of you guys have seen this. I know a couple of you might have seen this a long, long time ago. But I just wanted to share it out with you guys. And I will keep on posting a lot of domination gameplays as we speak and as we go on. And I've said already, and I mentioned in my previous video on the Xbox gameplay, that I will be posting three to five gameplays per day, because I do have a lot of gameplays stored up on my desktop. So uh, I just wanna let you guys know that when before Black Ops comes out, I will clear out all my Modern Warfare 2 gameplays, so that will be out of the way because I will be quitting Modern Warfare 2. So you know, rather just uh, you know, just uh splatter out all my gameplays on my channel all my good all my uh gameplays that i've uh achieved as i uh went on and grew on youtube and uh for you guys out there just subscribed i don't only play team death much for thinking that i do play other game modes and uh, this is the gameplay game mode that i started off when i first got the game and that's why i was kind of experienced that back in the days nowadays when i play ground war i just think that a lot of things have changed there's either lobbies with noob tubes or commandos. It's much, much more harder to get gameplays than it was back in the days. As people have changed, the game modes have changed. And I just think that, you know, it will take more... I just think that it's more time consuming to get gameplays and domination than it was back in the days. You know, I used to get gameplays back to back, back to back at every lobby I went into. Just getting high scores. But nowadays, it is still possible to get gameplays, but... Playing against people at noob tube and constantly with painkillers and commando, you know, I can't just uh, stand out in domination. You know, when you go for a good, you know, you're on a good kill streak in the start, but then as the game goes on, people will realize and they, you know, intercept your gameplay. Oh, I'm talking about football here. When they uh, read your gameplay and they know that what you're going to do, they will start pulling out all sorts of crap to make the gameplay of that you're trying to get into a misery and try to just uh, stop whatever streak that you're going to and just natural to people to know that and of course there's a select option there where you can see the leaderboard and the scoreboard so that you know they would obviously it would indicate to them that oh shit this guy is getting a high score we gotta stop him you know so uh, that's how it's changed during the nine months the game has been out I'm not sure if it's nine months well it's gonna be 12 months soon um, yeah 12 months around that and you oh just raping it here with the chopper gunner and you know, if you notice that back in the days, a lot of people didn't have painkiller, and uh, that was a good contribution to my gameplays. And uh, you know, I am going to bring out a lot more domination gameplays. And uh, as I've said already, oh snap, painkiller! There he is. These guys are pretty good at sitting back, but obviously you need the patience to sit back. But these guys don't have it. And I gotta say, playing domination back in the days was a pretty fun thing. And I said already that it takes a lot of time to get. Oh, it's not like this. Um, it, oh, it should be cool. Uh, it takes a lot of time to uh, get gameplays and to spend a lot of time having to play. And I, I think that nowadays I don't have the time to play as much as I did back in the days. Of course, you guys know that school and all sorts of real life. And uh, man, I just, I like that triple kill with uh, M16 there. But anyway. Spawn trapping, let's talk about spawn trapping. Oh, <laughs> split my legs like that. Um, that was a pretty dumb mistake that I made. And back in the days, I did used to use Steady Aim quite a lot. But nowadays, I use Ninja Pro. 
I'm not too sure why I used Steady Aim back in the days, but I don't know. And you guys know that back in the days I did not use the uh, Total Beach. I just used to use my uh, TV volume. I don't know. I used to say that when you buy Total Beaches, it's bad for your health in a way, which makes you deaf. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of bullshit in a way. Because um, I used to use uh, TV sound. And I just thought that when people use Total Beaches, I just think that it's not good for you. Kind of, that was kind of a stupid statement to say in my commentary. But you know, that was me back in the days. Stupid little guy. I might be stupid still to this very day. You never know. But getting these gameplays, people like to see them. And I've noticed around the YouTube, YouTube community, people enjoy watching Domination gameplays more than Team Deathmatch gameplays. Um, I understand why, because, you know, taking out more players than usual. Because, you know, Team Deathmatch is six people. Whereas on the Ground War, there's nine people. So it's more effort that you gotta, you know, it's more effort to gain the kills because you gotta work out a strategy kind of thing to gain the kills and, ch you know, making the right path, right choice to make the right path to gain the kills. And um, I guess a lot of people know how domination works now. It's pretty simple. If they've captured one flag and you've got two flags, they're always bound to spawn at the flag they've captured. I've said this many times before. And uh, they always tend to spawn in groups, and but the problem is in domination they have specific spawn points around a specific area, so it's not necessarily going to be like demolition where there's always going to be a fixed spawn point. In domination, it's going to be separate. It's going to be different spawn points around one area, so you always got to guess. So I guess you got to, yeah, you, you got to guess where they're going to spawn next after you've demolished all the nine of their players. Like let's say here for instance, they're always going to spawn around this area. And then after that, they're going to go back to their flag. And then this area here is where they tend to spawn. Sorry, not the other area. This area. So after they escape from the flag, and they or say around, they're trying to capture our flags. And after we kill them, they're going to spawn back at their flag and try. Look at this guy going up the slopes, thinking he could get a flag up there. But these guys are trying their best. But, you know, I'm just hunting them, stalking them down at their spawn once again. And I just believe that. You know, domination is the easiest way to gain the kills, and uh, I think a lot of people would agree with it. And uh, this is the part where I gain quite a lot of kills with a chopper gun. I should have fast forwarded a bit, but you guys can fast just skip. Let's just skip to the end if you guys want. I don't really care to be honest, but you know, you guys have watched. You guys are watching the gameplay, get a nice little chopper kills here, and this is a pretty good spawn point there in quarry. And then they keep on running out, and then the chopper gun goes away. So, uh, I got eight, 8 kills and 2 deaths, I believe, at this moment. And the uh, only way, I believe that only way to get a good gameplay is if you're, if the flag capturing is evenly balanced out. And what I mean by that is that, if basically we capture 2 flags, they capture 2 flags, we capture 2 flags, and it goes in a chain reaction so that it keeps on going, so that the game lasts around like 15 minutes long or 20 minutes, not too sure, it depends. And uh, that gives you more time to gain the kills. And that's the only way you can get a good score. You know, all about how your team plays and how the other team plays. If everyone's just going for kills, then I think that you, everyone, you know, no one's going to get a good score because there's either going to be one, one team dominating with the flags, and uh, you know the points go up between you know how each you know how the number of flags you capped. So let's say you captured three flags, it goes up by three every like five seconds. I think I'm not too sure how it works to be exact, but that's how it works around domination so you know if, if you have a good party or a good team in domination and they know how to play and you know how to play it and I think that you guys you guys can get a lot of you know a lot of kills but then again you have to be sure and make sure that they don't always have the flag captured otherwise the game will end very quick so that's about it I hope you guys enjoy my domination gameplay 84 kills and 6 deaths check your sign out good night peace yeah Oh, and by the way, these are all my other channels and my uh, t-shirt store as well as Twitter. As you guys know, AVX is AVX Theater in the top left corner. In the middle is a t-shirt, just one of the t-shirts, but there's also other variety of t-shirts available if you click on the link. On the right-hand side, top right corner is Shaggy Vlog's channel with yay, yeah! and the one beneath that with orange background with my hat and my picture is uh, the Curry Clan channel, and one beneath that would say is Shaggy Community, and the text is Shaggy the Rusher, and also in the Top left corner 
beneath the AVEX logo is Twitter, obviously, which you guys know, so make sure you follow me on that too. So uh, that's about it. Make sure you check these channels out and uh, links. Shaggy Rose, sign out. Good night. Peace. Yeah.